Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, Fall 2020, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education, the Boise School District, and Idaho Public Television. Hello, Ms. Devin, how are you? Hi, oh, I'm really good, Ms. Sasha, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thanks for asking. I'm excited to see you today and get to do another story with you. Likewise. Yeah. Ooh, and our story looks so interesting. I'm excited for it. Animals. Yeah. Miss Sasha, do you like animals? I do. I love animals. Ooh. So, hmm. Have you ever been to the zoo to see the animals there? I have. And in fact, I actually used to take uh, my kindergarten class when I taught kindergarten. And that was our field trip every year. We would go to the Boise Zoo and it was so much fun. Oh, wow. oh so what kind of animals did you see at the Boise Zoo? Um, we saw lots of different animals. We saw animals that had four legs, animals that had two. We had birds. They love the reptiles. One of my favorite, though, was the sloth bear. I love watching the sloth bear. A sloth bear? What mm -hmm. is that? It looks like a bear, but then it also looks like it has the claws of a sloth and it moves pretty slow and it eats bugs a lot. So you can actually feed the sloth bear at the zoo. Wow, how cool. Mm-hmm. But I also love the giant ant eaters. They were one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, they have their really long noses and they eat ants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's and these cute. ones are really big at the zoo. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen ant eaters. I, I'll have to go to the Boise Zoo. You should. They have a lot of interesting animals there. And in fact, they actually just started one that has um, animals that are native to Africa, too, that they talk about, which All looks right. like what our story is about. Yeah, these do look like African animals. I see an elephant and a lion and a giraffe and some horses that are called zebras and then hmm what are those other animals in the back of the picture i see some that remind me of the lion king and those are the warthogs and then I see some water buffalo that look mm -hmm. a lot different than the buffalo we have here. And then I see some animals in the water too. Yeah. I also see some animals that look a little like deer, but I know that they're not like the deer we have here. Yeah. I think they're called antelope, aren't they? Hmm. They could be antelope. I think they might call them impalas, which are a little smaller. And I know about the impala because that was my high school mascot. <laughs> oh, very cool. Yeah. Hmm. Well, should we see about our story? Yes. Should we talk about who the authors were and the illustrators? Because I love the pictures a lot in the story already. All right, we wanna say thank you to Storybooks ESL for allowing us to use the story. It's called Counting Animals and it's written by Zen Zanzel Bethulzi, Thambani Delati, and Claire Verbeek. And it's illustrated by Rob Owen. All right. Oops. I want to let me go. There we go. All right. So we have some vocabulary words we would love to start off with. 
And I'm going to start first, if that's all right, Miss Devon. Sure. All right. Our first one is, it's called a verb. And a verb is an action. And I love action words. And so our first word is walk. I walk with my dog. Should we get up and try walking? Let's do it. All right, let's try to walk. And Miss Devon's going to walk. And Miss Devon walks back. Nicely done. Thanks, Miss Devon. All right. Are you guys ready? You're going to help me out with the next sentence. Okay, your turn. You're going to finish the sentence. I walk with my. Now it's your turn. Ooh. I walk with my friends. We, I don't have a dog, so I walk with my friends. We like to walk, especially right now. It's nice weather to go for a walk in the afternoon and see the fall leaves. So I walk with my friends. Nice. I agree. It is a nice weather to walk with your friends. All right. Okay. So this is run. It's also a verb, an action word. I can see this little boy here and he's <laughs> he is running. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe he's chasing someone. Maybe he's very excited to go somewhere. But uh, running is walking but fast. So I run when I see the bus coming. When the bus comes and I need to be on the bus, I need to run really fast. So Miss Sasha, should we try to run? I think we should. Do you okay. want to run with us at home? I think they do. I oh, here we go. Too. On your mark. Get set, go, run, <laughs> run back. <laughs> okay, good running. That was nice exercise. <clears throat> so I think we have another sentence here. Okay, now it's your turn. I run when I. I run when I want to exercise. Mm -hmm. Or when I see an ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of that too. When I when I hear the song that the ice cream man plays in the summer, you have to go run for the ice cream truck. Mm -hmm. It's always the fun part. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what the little boy is running towards, the ice cream. Probably. Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, this is one of my favorite summertime things. Swim. Mm. I love to swim in the lake. And it looks like the little boy is about to go swimming with his dog in the lake too. Mm-hmm. All right, we have your turn. Okay, it says, I swim in the, I have an idea and it's your turn now. I swim in the Boise River. Ooh, that's really cold. It's cold, but it's fun in the summer. It's too cold to do that now. But in the summer, it's nice to get a, a tube and float but then I also really like to get off the tube and swim in the water. Miss Sasha can you swim? I can yes. I actually learned how to swim later in life. I went to college and took swimming lessons in college. Oh wow that's good, good for you. Yeah it was a goal of mine. I always wanted to learn how to swim. 
Mm -hmm. So, and I made it happen in college. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Should we find out what our next word is? Let's do it. All right. Drink. So I see there's a girl drinking water here. Drink is another action word, a verb. Um, so why don't we all drink? I actually have some soda here, but if you don't have a drink, you could just pretend. I'll have to pretend. A little, yeah, you have a cup or something. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's have a drink. I'm thirsty. Okay. Mm. Okay. I drink a lot of water after I run. So I get, I run and then I'm tired and thirsty. So I drink a lot of water. I do too. Now it's your turn. I like to drink. I like to drink soda. Mm -hmm. Me too. I was, I am drinking soda right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. I also like to drink coffee. My students mm -hmm. all know that I always drink coffee every morning. Yes. That's my favorite thing to drink first thing in the morning is coffee. Mm -hmm. All right, let's find out what our next one is. Oh, this is a fun one. This is roar. The girl roars. Should we pretend to roar? Yeah, we should. All right. Should we make the noise too? I think so. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Are we ready? Yeah, let's do a countdown. Three. Two, one. All right. Did you do it? Did you have fun at home too? All right. Your turn. The blank will roar. Hmm. Well, I know that lions roar, but also um, a, a crowd, a lot of people in an audience who are like uh watching a football game for example we say that the crowd roars so i'm gonna say the crowd will roar when the team makes a point they'll say ah, i love that because i a lot of the times i only think about a lion roaring so I like to think that a crowd roars too, making a loud noise. Yeah. All right. I think we have one more, don't we, Miss Devin? Yes, we do. All right. Let's see what that one is. This one is afraid, which is an adjective. And so an adjective um, describes something. So it, it describes how we feel. So for, and we see the picture and there's a scary monster and the, the guy is afraid. He doesn't like it, he's scared. I am afraid of snakes. Miss mm. Sasha, we talked about rattlesnakes in one of the episodes. Ooh. And yeah. And, and uh, crocodiles. And I'm not afraid of crocodiles, but I am afraid of rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. I wonder, what does afraid look like? Mm. Can you show us, Ms. Sasha? I think so. So a lot of the times when I'm afraid, my face gets really scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes if I'm afraid, I say, oh, ah! <laughs> um, let's see here. We have a sentence frame for your turn. I am afraid of 
I am afraid of spiders. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of spiders either. Spiders are okay for me, but I don't like the rattlesnake. I'm trying to be okay with spiders. That's good. <sighs> it's good to try to not be afraid. Yeah. Um, right now, there's a lot of Halloween decorations up. And one of my neighbors has a really scary Halloween decoration. So I'm a little afraid of it's a werewolf. Ooh, that could be. Mm -hmm. I have one in my neighborhood too. It's a skeleton. And I think it's actually really scary. So I don't like to walk by that house. Yeah, you're afraid of the house because I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Oops. Oh, stop. All right. We are going to get ready to read our story. If you would like to read along with us, you are welcome to. We have a QR code that all you have to do is scan and it should take you straight to the page. Or if you'd like to type in that web address, go ahead, we'll give you a few moments. All right. All right, again, we have our story, Counting Animals, and I'm really excited for it. Mm -hmm. Miss Devin, did you want to read it first? Sure. Okay. Um, let's see. When will I read? Um, can you show us each word with the cursor? I'd be happy to follow along with you. Okay. And then you at home, you can follow along with me too with your finger. Okay. Here we go. One elephant is going to drink water. Look at that elephant. Mm. Oh, sorry. I, no, I just really like the pictures. So oh, I can go back and we can talk about those pictures. Oh, I just I really love the elephant's eye in this picture. And um also look at those big are those teeth in this sasha are you talking about these things right here yeah what are those called those are called tusks so they mm -hmm. they're tusks yeah and they're so tusks are outside of the mouth and teeth are inside mm -hmm. Miss Sasha, you've seen an elephant, right? I actually haven't ever seen an elephant in real life. Oh, there's not an elephant at the Boise Zoo? I don't believe so. Oh, okay. And if there is, I haven't had an opportunity to get to go and see it. Okay. Well, I've seen elephants and they're really big. So big. So, okay. I got distracted. Okay. <laughs> That's right. They're pretty pictures. Rob Owen did a great job illustrating the story. Yeah. Two giraffes are going to drink water. Oh, look at those long necks on the giraffe. Mm -hmm. Do you know why they have such long necks? Miss Sasha? Is it so that they can reach their food easier in the trees? Exactly, yeah, because they eat the leaves on the trees. So they need to have really long necks to get their dinner. I love giraffes and I've watched videos of them before and I love that they show that they have, how they have to drink water, what they have to do with their legs. Cause I always wondered if they could mm -hmm. bend or what they had to do. Yeah. 
And I do see two giraffes. Do you see two giraffes? I do. Should we count them? I think so. Let's count them. Are you ready at home? One, One. Two. two, two giraffes. All right. I wonder if three is going to be next. I'm going to put There's one elephant. Now there's two giraffes. Let's mm -hmm. see. Oh, you're right. Three buffaloes and four birds are also going to drink water. Mm. So let's count the buffaloes first. Okay. One, two, three. three. Nice counting. Should we count the birds next? Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. I like how they're together in the picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the birds like to eat some of the bugs that live on the buffalo. And the buffaloes like the birds to eat them so they're not so itchy. So they get along well together. Yeah, that's nice. All right, those at home that are watching, what number do you think is coming next? Can you predict? We've had one elephant, two giraffes, we just found our three buffaloes, and four birds. I wonder what number is coming next. Do you have it? All right, let's see if you're right. Yeah. Okay. Five impalas and six warthogs are walking to the water. Well, I only got half of my prediction right because I only thought it was going to be five. Yeah. So there's five and there's six. Should we count the impalas first? Okay. Awesome. One, One, two, two three, three, four, five. five. All right, should we count the warthogs? Oh yeah, they're so cute. I they're baby they're warthogs too. I love it. All right, ready? Let's, are you guys ready to count? Mm -hmm. Oops, One. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. All right. So we, we have five impalas and six warthogs mm -hmm. walking to the water. Now, how, who, what's coming next? Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna get two numbers or one number. What do you predict, Miss Devin? What do you think is gonna come next? I think seven is coming next. I think so too. If I think back to the picture of this beginning of the story, we haven't seen any of those animals in the water. Do you think they're coming up soon? I hope so. Oh yeah, maybe they'll go swimming. Yeah, ooh, I hope so. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, seven zebras are running to the water. Hmm. Okay, so they're not in the water yet, but they're running. Miss Sasha, why are they running to the water? Why are all these animals running and walking to the water. I'm gonna go with that they're either thirsty or maybe they're really hot and wanna swim. Mm. Or maybe both. Mm -hmm. 
but I bet they're really thirsty because when yeah. I'm really thirsty, I, I run to get water too. That's true. Should we count the zebras? I think so. Let's keep practicing those counting skills. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's a big number. All right. So we have seven zebras. Mm -hmm. Do you have a prediction for what number is coming next? Hmm, I do. I think I see a pattern here. What do you at home think? All right, are you ready to see if your prediction's right? Yay, we have the water animals now. Okay. Eight frogs and nine fish are swimming in the water. Ooh. Which should we count first? Should we do the frogs? Okay. All right. One. And two. Three. three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. All right. Okay. All right, we got a bigger number, I think. Let's see. Ready? Okay. One, One two, Three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight nine. nine. Woo. That's a lot of frogs and even more fish. Yeah, that is a lot. All right. Do you think our story is almost done? Hmm. Maybe there's going to be number 10. Oh, I hope so. That's one of my favorite numbers is number 10. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, well, okay, let's read. Okay. One lion roars. He also wants to drink. Who is afraid of the lion? Mm. Oh. Well, so here we have all the animals, right? Mm -hmm. I, should we should we review how many of each animal there are? Yeah, let's see if we can remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's one elephant. Two. I remember it was giraffes. Oh wait. It wasn't two buffalo. I think there's only two buffalo in the picture. I think the third one got afraid and ran away. Maybe. They're all, yeah, I actually, I think I might see one, like the third buffalo's head in between the other two. And it's like, it's just a horn. Maybe not though. Maybe that's just the horn from the other one. Anyway, I think you're right. I think some some of the animals have gotten afraid and they mm -hmm. left. Okay. So now we have to remember the numbers, huh? We can't just count them. Yeah. Ooh. All right. 
Maybe we should okay. put on our thinking caps and make sure we get our brains working on that. Okay. All right. Cap on. Okay. There was one elephant. Elephant. Two giraffes. Three water buffaloes. Yeah, I, I call them water buffalo also. In the story, I think they just called them buffalo. I think so. But, uh, it's more common that we call them water buffalo because they like to be in water. Yeah. So after the, ooh, this was the one, I remember you talking about how these animals help take care of them. And that was the four birds. Yes, yeah, the four birds. And then we had five. Do you remember? Was it five Impala? It was five Impalas. Okay. And you can already see they are afraid they're running away. We had mm -hmm. six warthogs. And I think the babies are already gone. I think so too. Yeah. And, and then that means we had seven zebras. Mm -hmm. And then we had eight frogs mm -hmm. and, and nine, nine fish. Okay. Mm. So now we have one lion. Miss Sasha, who do you think is afraid of the lion? I predict, and predicting means that I'm going to make a guess mm -hmm. about, but I'm going to base it off of the picture. I, oops. I think the warthogs are afraid of the lion. Mm -hmm. Do you have a prediction, Miss Devin? I think the impalas are afraid of the lion. Impalas remind me of deer, and we have deer around here in Idaho. Mm -hmm. they, do. They, they get scared pretty easily so I think they're afraid of the lion too all right do you have a prediction at home which animal do you think or animals do you think are gonna run away from the lion we'll give you about 10 seconds to think about it Okay, hold it in your head and we'll see if you're right. Oh, well, one elephant is drinking water with the lion. Okay, so the elephant is not afraid of the lion. Nope. And who else is in that picture? It looks like the birds are not afraid of the lion yeah, either. I, well, how many birds do you see? I see, let's count them. Mm -hmm. One, two, three birds. Oh, wait, didn't we have four birds earlier? We did, so one bird flew away mm. but the other three are not afraid of the lion yeah and i also see some fish and frogs that are not afraid of the lion i see the same thing okay what what's gonna happen next i think that is the end of our story oh the end Mm-hmm. Okay. But can we play a little game with them? Mm -hmm. I would love to play a game where we go back and when we find the vocabulary in our story, we act it out. 
because that's what verbs are, is their actions. Mm -hmm. Should we review what our vocabulary is? Yeah, and then let's like tell them what actions to do in their chairs. Or if, do you want them to get up and just in, or stay in their chair? Okay. Yeah, and we can like just mimic with our fingers or walking. Okay. All right. Okay. Miss Devin, did you want to review it with them? Um, yeah. Okay. So walk, walk is, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this for walking. Great. <laughs> okay. And how about run? Run faster. What should we do? This? Yeah. Or should we go like this really, a lot really fast? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we have swim. Swim like this in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. And drink. We can pretend to drink from the cup. Mm hmm. Roar. And last, afraid. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready to reread our story. All right. When we come up on the action or our vocabulary word, act it out. All right. I'm excited. This will be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. One elephant is going to drink water. Two giraffes are going to drink water. Ooh, these animals must be thirsty. Mm -hmm. Three buffaloes and four birds are also going to drink water. Five impalas and six warthogs are walking to the water. Seven zebras are running to the water. I wonder, do zebras run everywhere they go? I don't know if I've ever really seen them walk much. Hmm. I think they walk when they're eating grass slowly. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a horse. If you've seen a horse, sometimes they walk, sometimes they run. Mm -hmm. Eight frogs and nine fish are swimming in the water. Ooh, this one has a lot. One lion roars. He also wants to drink. Who is afraid of the lion? One elephant is drinking water with the lion. All right. Oh, thank you, Miss Devin. That was a lot of fun. Great job, everybody. Okay. Well, now it's your turn at home because I love animals. And Miss Sasha, you love animals too, right? Mm, I do, yes. And you at home, I bet you love animals. And so we want 
to count. And we're gonna count animals and make our own story. Isn't that right, Natasha? That is, I'm excited to do it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, how do we make our own story, Natasha? All right. Well, first we're gonna go find our animal and we're gonna have a little timer so you can go quickly, grab it and come back and then we're gonna make a sentence with that animal. Wait, what do you mean by go find an animal? How can I do that? Oh, good question. Thank you for asking. So we think you should probably do it with stuffed animals. Your dog probably wouldn't want you to keep dragging them around, huh? <laughs> okay, so if you have stuffed animals or toys, you could bring those. If you have pets, you could say hi to them and remember in your head, or you could take a picture of them. Um, Miss Asha, I don't have any pets. So <laughs> what can I do? And I don't really have that many toys either. Mm. You know, I have lots of stuffed animals, so you can just use mine if you want. Oh, you'll share with me? I will share with you. Okay, and I'll be happy perfect. to share with any of the kids at home, too. Wonderful. So you're going to have one minute to go and find an animal. So if it's a toy, you can bring it. But if you can't bring it, that's okay. And after one minute, we will start to make our story, right? Yes. Okay. Let's, um, let's reread the sentence so I can remember what this says. All okay. right. Find one animal that walks. All right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Five, Five four, three, two, one. All right. All right, Miss Devin, did you find one animal that walks? I did, yes. This is a hippo. His name is Hippie and he walks, he even has, even has legs. <laughs> so he can walk. Wonderful. Should we do a quick sentence? Mm -hmm. All right. What would we like to say? Um, well, we could say um, one hippo walks, where does, hmm, where do hippos go? They love the water too. Okay then. Okay, they walk to the water. Great, all right. So for my story, I'm gonna say one hippo walks to the water. Nice. All right, next one is find two animals that run. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, go. Two, one. All right, welcome back. I have two bears that run. And they're actually twin bears. Okay. So, so where do they run? Mm, where do they go? These two bears run in the forest. Oh, okay. So two bears run in the forest. Mm -hmm. Should we count the bears to make sure I have two? Mm -hmm. All right, ready? One, 
two. Nice counting. All right, should we find out what the next one is? Okay. Find three animals that walk. Three. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go look. Okay. All right, see you back. <coughs> All right. Now remember, if you don't have this many stuffed animals at home, you can share mine or you can just make up your animals too. Mm -hmm. All right. I did not have three animals that were the same, but I had three animals that walk. I have a bull, I have a cute little panda and a ladybug. <laughs> Should we count our anim my animals first to make sure I have three? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Did you want to make up a sentence for them? A story for them? Hmm. What can we say? Um, the three animals walk to Hmm, where do they live? There's a ladybug lives in a tree, a bear lives in a tree, and then what's the third one? A, a bull. A bull. Mm -hmm. Maybe they, the three animals walk to the forest. Okay. Are. The three animals walk to the forest. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right, should we find out what's next? Okay, I think it should be four, yep, four <gasps> animals. It is four animals. Find four animals that swim. Okay. All right. Let's go look. Yep, see you back in a minute. Four, three, two, one. <sighs> that was a little hard for me to find four animals that swim. Mm. Well, what did you come up with? Hmm. I have kind of looks like a buffalo. A little Is that bit a like moose? It. it might be a moose. That looks like a moose to me. Moose like water. They do, they'll swim in water. Mm -hmm. A pelican. Okay. A elephant. Okay. And a swan. Wow, okay. Should we count and make sure I have four? Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, Three, four. And these all animals are all friends. These four animals went swimming in the river together. Oh. All right. Should we, what do you think is the next number? If we've done one and two, we found three. We just did four animals. Mm -hmm. What do you think is mm -hmm. the next number that comes? I think five. You think five? I think, yeah. I think you, I agree with you. I'm going to predict five also. That's five my, animals. Five That's animals. What do you think? All right, let's see. Okay, we are right. Yep. So it says find five animals that walk. All right. I will see you back in one minute, Miss Devin. Okay. Three, two. All 
All right, welcome back, Miss Devin. Thank you. So I looked out the window really hard, but I didn't see five animals. So thank you for sharing your animals, Miss Sasha. You're welcome. I'm happy you to have. share them. So I have I have three bears that walk. Mm -hmm. There's one two and three but am i at five yet nope mm. i have olaf who is four okay and then chicken which is five. Oh. i have five animals that walk okay well, those animals are all pretty different, but in my story, I'm going to say that the five animals walk in the park together. Oh, I bet they love that. I bet they're really good friends. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you think our number is going to get bigger? From five to six. Find it did six get bigger. Animals. Find six animals that drink. All right. I will see you back in one minute, Miss Devin. One minute. All right. Okay, we needed, I needed to find six animals that drink. Whew, I'm starting to run out of stuffed animals, so I may have to repeat some. But I have this one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of an anteater, but he may yeah. be a made up animal. Okay. So, and then I have a monkey. Oh. And he looks like he's in Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. All dressed up. And then a bunny. Another bear. But he's sparkly, so I think he's ready for Halloween too. Mm -hmm. A toucan. Or is that a parrot? That's a parrot. Sorry, parrot. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a snail. All, All right. right. How many was that? Was that six? That was six. I was counting. Oh, wonderful. Thank you for counting with for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. My sentence, my story is going to be Monkey was on his way to get a, a drink when he ran into his five friends and they all walked together to get a drink. Okay, great. So Miss Sasha, I think we have time for one more, um, for one more. Okay. So what do you think our last number is going to be? Ooh, you know, we keep getting bigger and if this is six, I think it's going to be seven. You think, think so too? Yep. Okay. okay. So for our the last part of our story, we need to find seven animals that run. All right. I will see you back in one minute. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. My seven animals that run. I have a bear who's ready for Halloween. Mm -hmm. I have another bear who dressed up as a ghost so he can mm -hmm. run. 
This one went with the sheet. Wow, you have a lot of Halloween animals. I do. This one decided he wanted to wear pajamas so he can run. Then I have a lion and we know they run fast. Mm -hmm. And they roar. Uh-huh, they roar a lot. And then I have twin bears that run together. Okay. Was that seven? Did I count correctly? Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. Seven. All right. My seven friends went out trick-or-treating and ran from house to house while the lion roared at them. Mm. That's a nice long sentence for your story, Miss Sasha. Okay, so I thank you to everybody who counted with us and read our story, Counting Animals. And then at the end, we have made our own story. It's pretty fun to make your own story, isn't it, Miss Sasha? It is. I was wanting to add more and kind of be a little silly in my stories too. It's true. We can. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Dev. And I enjoyed our time together today and getting to enjoy counting animals with you and our friends at home. Me too. Well, I think we will see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye bye. Funding for Classroom Idaho has been provided by the Friends of Idaho Public Television, the Idaho Public Television Endowment, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. You're watching Idaho Public Television's Create Channel, continuing education, how-tos, and travel programs for lifelong learners.